We're here at the original whistle stop in Pasadena, California, where Keith Turley is going to demonstrate how to disassemble the Walther's high-level passenger cars. On the uh, high-level cars, the first thing you need to do is take the ends off. And the best thing to do is work a little thin screwdriver down in and pop the ends out. I know sometimes it's a little difficult, but you're not going to hurt the car by doing this. And in fact, this is in the Walther's instructions on how to take the car apart. You pop the ends off just like so. Get down in there and it's not going to hurt it. Then you take and set the car down on something and start spreading the top with your fingers and your fingernails. It's kind of a tricky little part here, but you do that and spread the top while you're pulling up on it. Sometimes you may have to start at the other end and try and start working them loose. The uh, top and the sides all kind of dovetail together and work down over clips. And once you get them loose, you kind of hold one side open and start working on the other side, just like so. And that's how you pop the top. You get down in the car, you'll see these black screws. There's four of them, one in each area of the lounge, and then you have two back here, one down in one of the uh, restrooms and over here off the side. You have to take those out. You unscrew those. And once you do that, the car, you start spreading the sides and the upper interior has four little pins on it that hold it inside. You can take that completely out and that gets you into the lower interior of the car. Now those pins are right here on the sides. They're very small and if you break them off in the uh, process, no big deal. The screws actually hold the thing together. But uh, these are kind of like guide pins. And once you get that done, you could start working on taking the sides off the car. And the best way to do that is you take a little screwdriver, a little flat blade screwdriver, and go inside and you can see where the lower tabs are. And you work those up and pop them out. You move on down the car. The, the clips are down at the bottom like so. And you kind of pry up on them and pry out on them. And it pulls the side out away from what's called the, uh, the bone structure of the car. And once you've moved those out, you can work all your way down the car. This one down here is a little difficult. It's down way down deep inside. But you can get in there and you just kind of twist your screwdriver and it pops it loose. And pops the whole side off the car. And uh, that's the best way to keep from breaking any of the pins and the little brackets off the sides. If you do break them, it's okay, even if you break all of them. And you can always glue them back on with canopy glue if you had to. It's, uh, it's not super important if you break one. You don't have to panic. You can always center these up. They have little tiny pins that center into the inner structure of the car. If you want to go further down in, you can take and unscrew everything off the bottom of the car. Take the trucks off, take everything off, and this whole car disassembles. And you're down into the lower interior where you can work on it. Very simple to do. It goes back together the same way. Just press everything back together. The roof is the most important part. The roof holds everything together. On any Walther's car, you can break tabs, you can do a lot of different things, but all the roof tabs need to be in place because that is the key to it all.